How many fish can you put in your aquarium? I hate you for asking that. Okay, if you're a longtime follower of this channel, you know exactly why I said that in the beginning. But if you're new here, first of all, welcome, and let me explain. Throughout my time on YouTube, I've done just shy of 600 live streams where I would take questions from the chat. I swear to you, in all 595 live streams, I would be asked the question, how many fish can I put in my tank? It is my least favorite question in fish keeping. But that's not your fault. You came here because you genuinely want to know how many fish you can put in your aquarium. So for you, I'll answer it. Just this once. Well, I'm going to try to answer it. It's not as easy to answer as you might think. In fact, it's probably the most difficult question in the entire hobby. But I'm going to give it a try. But first of all, hi. My name is John, and this is a brand new series of videos where we're going to tackle the most common questions in the aquarium hobby. If you want to see your question answered, just put it down in the comments below. And if I see the same questions over and over and over again, I'll know that that's one that we should include in the series. Hey, stop that. I see what you're doing down there. Spamming the same question 50 times is not going to get your question answered. I'm watching you. All right, how many fish can you put in your aquarium? There's only about 3.5 million answers to that, but I'm gonna do my best to make this all make sense. Let's go over the factors that you need to consider before we can answer that. Number one is how big is your tank? And number two is what kind of fish are we talking about? I know this might seem like common sense, but you'd be surprised how many people just say, how many fish can go in a 29 gallon? Obviously, there's a pretty important piece of information we need before we can even begin to come up with an answer. Are you looking to put angels in the tank or maybe Buenos Aires Tetras? The answers are drastically different depending on your answer. Then we need a third piece of information and that is about you and your habits. Here's what I mean. If you say, I have a 29 gallon tank and I'd like to put Buenos Aires Tetras in it, I'm someone who's completely obsessed over water quality and will do whatever's necessary for the tank to not only look good, but also be healthy for the fish. My answer to that question is gonna be a lot different than if you said, I just like to have an aquarium as decoration and don't really fuss over it. Mainly, I just add water when it gets low and starts making all that noise. The more fish you have in your tank, the more taxing it is on the ecosystem. If you obsess over your tank, I'd tell you, heck, put 18 to 20 of them in there. But if you just want to have it in the corner as a decoration and don't want to mess with it, I'd tell you six to eight. You can see why we need this information before we can continue. I'm not going to recommend to the casual person to put a bunch of fish in their tank because it's going to inevitably lead to the tank being dirty and nasty and even worse, a bunch of dead fish. Nothing will make someone quit this hobby faster than a tank full of dead fish. So I need to know about you before I can confidently give you an answer. And listen, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but we gotta be honest about this. We all tend to exaggerate. So you have a 29 gallon and you wanna put angels in it and you're someone that takes pretty good care of your tank, but you wouldn't say you obsess over it. I'd tell you, you should be safe with four, maybe even six if you'd be willing to monitor things and do what's necessary. Now, we talked about getting multiples of one fish, but what about people that say, I have a 55 gallon with two Jack Dempsey's, a fire mouth, a green terror, a flower horn, and two blood parrots. How many more can I add before it'll be considered too many? There's a bunch of you that heard that and you're like, huh, that sounds ridiculous. But you'd be surprised how many times we see that down in the comments. And like I said before, in the chats on live streams, come on. Don't act like you didn't buy everything you saw at the fish store that you thought was cool when you first started in this hobby. You know you did. We all did. Answering this question is much more complicated than it may seem because there's a whole new lesson that needs to be taught here. Not only is your tank at max capacity, but it's at max capacity for a tank twice the size of what you have. But you're here, and I appreciate that, so let me do what's best to help you. What you've done is made one of the most common mistakes in the hobby and don't let anyone give you any crap over it because like I said, they probably made the same mistakes too. Your focus needs to be on taking care of the fish you have to the best of your abilities, not how many more you can add. I understand the excitement about getting more fish, believe me, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do this and unfortunately, you're not heading in the right direction. Also, if you really like all those fish you have, start saving as much money as you can to upgrade them to a bigger tank. 
I mean, before you know it, those fish are gonna be on top of each other. Okay, there's one more bit of information that we need before we can consider how many fish you can have in your tank, and that's filtration. And filtration does include live plants. Wait, wh what? Plants are filters? Uh, I'm so confused. Okay, plants aren't filters, but they do play a pivotal role in the healthier aquarium. Again, using the 29 gallon as an example, if you tell me you've got a small hang on the back filter that came with your tank as part of a kit, but your tank is full of live plants, I'm gonna be okay telling you your tank can handle a few more than if there's no plants in there. Fish create nitrates, plants consume nitrates. Circle of life. So what kind of fish are you looking at? How big is your aquarium? What are your habits with maintenance? And what's your filtration situation? Be honest, were you expecting me to just put up a list of the most common fish and how many of them can go in each size tank? Well, hopefully now you understand. To answer that is a little more complicated than you thought. But I'm going to do you a favor because, well, I like you. And I'm going to go through some of the most common ones that we hear. I'm going to assume you take good care of your aquariums and you have the appropriate filtration on there. And also, you definitely need to know this. This is just my opinion. Let's start with Cardinal Tetras. How many of them can go in a 10 gallon? I've put 18 of them in a 10 gallon with very few problems. How many Cory Cats in a 20 gallon that already has a bunch of Tetras? Well, Cory Cats like to be in groups, so I'd say four to six. That's four to six, not 46. How many Discus in a 90 gallon? Well, I'm gonna assume you're really on top of your game because most beginners are gonna be too scared of Discus, but if you're not, and you're really on your game, six to eight of them should be fine. How many Imbuna cichlids in a 55 gallon? This one gets tricky because you want to have a good group of these to curb aggression, but these fish produce a lot of waste and they're going to breed like crazy. So let's start with 12 to 14 and see where it goes. You'll probably have a bunch more in there soon. How many Oscars in a 55 gallon? Zero. And don't argue with me. How many common Placostomus in a 125 gallon? First of all, congratulations for at least having this fish in a 125. And second, the answer is one. Because, well, why would you want more than one? On the topic of plecos, what about bristlenose plecos? How many of them can I put in my 20 gallon? Well, again, this one's tricky because these fish stay pretty small, but if you have males and females, they're prolific breeders. So how about we start with four and see what happens? I have a 90 gallon with eight angelfish and I'd like to add some German blue rams. How many will be safe? Well, rams stay really small unless we're talking about the Bolivians. They're not really gonna be aggressive, but whenever you're talking about cichlids, you never really know. So let's put six in there and it should be fine. How many orcas can I put in a five gallon? You're laughing right now, but I promise you there's already been a nine-year-old down in the comments that's been typing that in there to be funny. Welcome to the internet. But listen, the answer to that is 96. You can comfortably house 96 orcas in a five-gallon tank as long as it's got a Fluval FX6 filter on it. The last one is how many betas can I put in a five-gallon? Well, if we're talking about males, the answer is always going to be one, and it's not even up for debate. If you're someone that puts two male betas in a five gallon, just do me a favor. Click the dislike button and be on your way. I ain't got nothing for you. If we're talking females and you want to create a sorority, I'm still going to say one because a five gallon isn't enough room for more. Lisa always recommends at least a 20 gallon for beta sororities, and she says you can easily house five girls in there. So there you go. Not really as cut and dry as you thought it might be, is it? Well, hopefully you see now that we have to consider all of these different factors and any question in the aquarium hobby that starts with how many is almost impossible to answer. But I hope this has given you enough information to put it all together and hopefully come up with a good number for your tank. Oh, and there's no such thing as an inch per gallon, bye.